Castle of St. Angelo is a historic monument in Rome, Italy, that has a long and fascinating history. It was originally built as a mausoleum for the Roman Emperor Hadrian and his family in the second century AD, but over the centuries it was transformed into a fortress, a papal residence, a prison, and a museum. Hello my friends please help me build my YouTube algorithm by hitting like and subscribing. Enjoy thank you for taking the time to appreciate my video. Your positive feedback makes it all worth it. Here are some interesting facts about Castle of St. Angelo. The name Castle of St. Angelo means Castle of the Holy Angel and refers to the statue of the Archangel Michael that stands on top of the building. According to legend, the angel appeared to Pope Gregory I in 590 AD and announced the end of a plague that was ravaging Rome. The mausoleum of Hadrian was designed as a circular structure with a diameter of 64 meters and a height of 21 meters. It was surrounded by a square wall with four turrets and decorated with statues, reliefs, and a bronze chariot on the top. The mausoleum was converted into a military fortress in 401 AD, when the Emperor Omarius included it in the Aurelian walls that protected Rome from external attacks. The fortress was equipped with battlements, towers, and cannons, and was connected to the Vatican by a secret passage called the Passetto de Borgo. This passage allowed the popes to escape to the safety of the castle in times of danger, such as when Rome was sacked by the Visigoths in 410 AD and by the Saracens in 846 at 13. The castle also served as a papal residence. From the 14th to the 16th century, when several popes added rooms, chapels, and apartments to the building, the most famous of these is the Sala Paulina where Pope Paul III commissioned frescoes by the Renaissance artists Brino del Vaga and Giulia Romano. The castle also contains a rich collection of art, weapons, furniture, and documents that illustrate the history of the papacy and the city of Rome. The castle was also used as a prison and a place of execution for political and religious opponents of the papal authority. Among the prisoners who were held or executed in the castle were the philosopher Giordano Bruno, the sculptor Benvenuto Cellini, the astronomer Galileo Galilei, and the Count Cagliostro. The castle also witnessed the famous siege of 1527, when the troops of Emperor Charles V attacked Rome and killed thousands of people, including many cardinals and bishops. The Pope Clement VII managed to escape to the castle and resisted the siege for seven months until he surrendered and paid a huge ransom. The castle is now a museum that attracts millions of visitors every year. The museum offers a guided tour that covers the different phases of the castle's history. From the ancient mausoleum to the modern museum, the tour also includes the access to the Angel Terrace where the visitors can enjoy a stunning view of Rome and the Tiber River. The castle also hosts temporary exhibitions, cultural events, and concerts throughout the year. St. Angelo Bridge is a beautiful and historic bridge in Rome that connects the city center with the castle of St. Angelo. The bridge was built by Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century AD and has been modified and decorated over the centuries. Here are some of the highlights of the bridge. The bridge has five arches and five spans. Supported by seven-meter high piers, 
It is made of travertine marble and spans the Tiber River. The bridge is 135 meters long and 10.5 meters wide. The bridge is adorned with 10 statues of angels. Holding the instruments of the Passion of Christ, such as the cross, the crown of thorns, the nails, and the lance, these statues were designed by the famous sculptor and architect, Guillaume Renzo Bernini in the 17th century. But only two of them were made by him, the rest were executed by his pupils and collaborators. The original statues by Bernini are now in the church of Sant'Andrea del Frat. The bridge also has two statues of the Apostles Peter and Paul at the entrance, sculpted by Lorenzetto and Paolo Romano in the 16th century. They hold the keys of heaven and the sword, respectively, and have inscriptions that warn the pilgrims to be humble or face punishment. The bridge has a long and fascinating history, as it was used for various purposes over the centuries. It was originally a part of Hadrian's mausoleum, which later became a fortress and a refuge for the popes. It was also a place of execution, where the bodies of the condemned were displayed to the public. It was also a site of miracles, as the legend says that an angel appeared on the top of the castle. To end a plague in the 6th century, the bridge was also damaged and restored several times, especially during the sieges and sackings of Rome by different invaders. The bridge is now a pedestrian area and a popular tourist attraction. It offers a stunning view of the Castel Sant'Angelo and the Vatican. It also hosts cultural events and concerts throughout the year. Art. It is a symbol of the artistic and historical heritage of Rome.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us and helps our channel grow.